Slater hits ton before Notts take eight. Some dogged batting displays helped both Derbyshire and Notts to important draws last time out, but with East Midlands bragging rights on offer, both had all to play for at the Encora County Ground. There wouldn't be any Hasib Hamid heroics this time, well, not in the first innings anyway. He was out in the second over, caught behind off Reese. Duckett wasn't far behind him, he'd added 14 when Hudson Prentice found a way to remove him early. Slater and Clark were more productive, they found their feet quickly, first taking the side to 50, the mark reached with a no ball 6, the rare sight of 8 runs added with one swing of the bat. Their partnership then followed, Knott's now with something to build on after a difficult start, the third wicket pairing now worth 50. They were into the 90s before lunch and found their way into triple figures on the cusp of the interval. Slater followed that by picking up his 50, a ninth four got him there and the recovery was well on its way at the break, the score 113 for two. Clark joined Slater on 50 after the resumption, his knock came off 69 balls, impressive action at both ends for knots. They were motoring, flying past 150 and it wasn't long before they had designs on reaching 200 midway through the session. That would have to wait though, with two runs worked into mid-wicket, Slater found his way to 100, a second consecutive ton after his diligent knock last week. He'd lose his partner to Aitchison though, Hussain with the catch behind the stumps to finally add a breakthrough to their early success. Lyndon James then fell to Hudson Prentice, out LBW for one. And then Mullaney shouldered arms to one that nipped back from Hudson Prentice. He too was out, LBW. Moores and Slater came together to guide their side to 200 and T. The score at the break, 204 for five. There would be a wicket after T, and it was a key one for Derbyshire. Slater out, LBW off Critchley. The Centurion could do no more to help his side. But despite the loss of the wickets, Knotts kept going and found themselves on the cusp of 250. They'd have to get there without Tom Moores though, he fell to Reese for 26. Liam Patterson-White had shown some defiance in his innings, making his way to 23 when he was out to LBW to Aitchison. Fletcher followed two balls later, unable to do anything with a swinging ball other than feed the slip cordon. The innings was wrapped up in the next over, Broad aimed a big swipe down the ground but didn't connect, caught by Wood in the deep, Knotts all out for 256. They would be disappointed with their return. Slater and Clark had done so well at the top of the order, but the loss of their opener saw the innings start to crumble. Hudson Prentice finishing with 4 for 36. Knotts would find some joy of their own early in the Derbyshire innings. Broad found the edge, and Reese was removed, caught behind for 11. Wood followed. Deploy sent him back, but he couldn't turn in time, out of his ground, and run out by Luke Fletcher. They had their tails up, and before long, another big scalp. Madsen unable to get off the mark, another man out to Broad. Critchley strode out to take his side to 50, but he couldn't prevent the loss of another wicket. Patterson found Deploy's pads, and off he went, 11 runs added, and his side in a spot of bother. Once again it was down to Critchley to stop the rot. He and Hussain held firm, and they tried to build a partnership to shut up shop against their opponents, but they couldn't pull it off. Fletcher found Hussain's pads and he'd have to go, two to his name. And the next wicket was the key one for Knotts. Critchley edged Patterson through to Moores for 33 and Derbyshire were in deep trouble against their East Midlands neighbours. Fletcher had Scrimshaw in his next over, Moores with the catch behind the stumps to leave Derbyshire seven down. And then there was another with his next ball, Hudson Prentice bowled, Fletcher on a hat-trick and just two wickets left. Aitchison survived the next ball, no hat-trick for the big man but he'd done some real damage. Derbyshire limped through to the close of play with the score 86 for 8. And the host's troubles deepened at the resumption. Guest was removed early doors by Aitchison to leave Sam Connors the last man in. They managed to find their way through to three figures, but Fletcher wasn't to be stopped. He produced a peach of a delivery to bowl Guest and pick up his fifth wicket of the innings. He finished with figures of 5 for 28. It had been a demolition job from Nottinghamshire, just a late flurry from the Derbyshire tail prevented them from skittling their hosts for double figures. Fletcher their tormentor in chief with his five wicket haul. Knotts reached 36 before Slater fell, unlucky as the ball went bat, pad and then dribbled behind him, the bales dropping almost apologetically. Hamid and Duckett were more fortunate, they stuck together and found some fluency, 
taking the score to 50. When they reached lunch, the score was 60 for 1, and Knott's lead was now over 200. The two continued after lunch, and accelerated. Duckett, the main aggressor of the pair, fired quick boundaries as they took the partnership past 50 and started to look to triple figures. Hamid got them there, but all eyes were on Duckett. He had been batting and almost to run a ball, and quickly had his hands on a 50, a just reward for his innings. His partner would follow him. Hamid's innings a more patient one, his 50 coming from 84 balls. They cruised past 150, and it was looking like this partnership would take them to 200. But Derbyshire had another wicket, an important one too. Duckett, who had been dealing out the punishment, was undone by Hudson Prentice. Out for 87, his legacy, a 337 run lead. They were soon on 200, the game slipping further from Derbyshire with every swing of the bat. Hamid had put his foot down after reaching his half century, and soon found himself in the 90s, where he'd stay until the break. The score, 238 for 2. He couldn't make it to three figures. The first ball after tee was his undoing, bowled by Critchley for 94. Lyndon James aimed a big swipe across the line, but he could only feed a catch to Wood off Scrimshaw, gone for seven. Mullaney went to the same bowler, his knock brought to an end on ten, when Hussain took the catch behind the stumps. Clark was still there though, and he'd been playing well. His innings came to fruition, a 50 to his name, with Knott's lead now just shy of 450. Maul swept Critchley for four to bring up the 300, but his partner fell shortly after. Clark caught pulling, out for a solid 53. Maul's was next, another for Hudson Prentice. His return, a runner ball 27. Patterson White followed, Madsen seeing him depart for three. Fletcher was next, Madsen again with the wicket, a duck for the big knots bowler. And then Broad was the last to go. Hudson Prentice fired one through him and removed his leg stump, out for three, and Knotts all out for 318, but the target for Derbyshire was 470. The top order had done the heavy lifting for Knotts, the innings rather crumbling as they looked to force the issue. Hudson Prentice will be pleased with this 4 for 40, even if it may end up counting for little. Derbyshire's start was solid, but ultimately ended by the weather. The day was brought to a close as the rain started to fall, the score 23 for none, and the deficit still 447. It wouldn't be long before the demons that dogged Derbyshire's first innings returned, Rhys out early to Broad. The trademark celeb repeal was on show with the next ball, deploy out LBW, and Knotts on the charge early doors. Madsen and Wood recovered to take Derbyshire to 50 runs, but there was more joy for Knotts soon after. Madsen caught behind for 21. Patterson wasn't done though, another in the over, Critchley bowled through the gate. The wickets kept tumbling, Hussain handed Patterson another when he flashed at one, only to nick through to Moores. Fletcher then left Wood's stumps in a mess, the last of the top order removed for 31. He had another, Guest caught behind, and Nottinghamshire were romping away with it. Finn Hudson Prentice and Ben Aitchison took the total into three figures, but the former was removed by Broad coming around the wicket. Aitchison decided to have some fun. A couple of sixes in an over here from Patterson White would help move the total past 150, but that was an irrelevance at this point. He lost another partner when Sam Connors tried to hit Broad into the stratosphere, but only made it as far as fine leg. There was time for Aitchison to reach a very watchable half-century, scored off just 48 balls. But he died how he lived. One swipe too many, and the game was wrapped up. After almost three years, the wait was over, and Nottinghamshire had won a first-class match. Utter relief for the visitors. Four wickets for Stuart Broad in that innings, and aside from Aitchison, very little resistance of note from Derbyshire in the match. They'll have a week off to lick their wounds, while Nottinghamshire returned to action, full of confidence, against the champions at Trent Bridge.